This Australian Aboriginal shaman has written it on his body, and I went on and deciphered it. When I deciphered the text, I was literally blown away by its meaning, and this is why. It reads, the first supreme collective consciousness of telepathy. The reason this shaman had written this text on his body as a symbol to show to others that he is telepathic. In Tartarian times telepathy was practiced just like the other five senses. Tartarian runic script which writes, the first supreme collective consciousness of telepathy. This telepathic Australian Aboriginal shaman knew the secrets of how telepathic ability can be activated by specific initiation and remain in this state indefinitely. Aboriginal people used mental telepathy to communicate most of the time, and telepathy is achieved through hypercommunication. Through hypercommunication we can access everything which we are ethereally connected with on the astral plane, which are all torsion fields of fractal geometry scale starting from Taurus field sphere of the firmament, right down to atoms, as above so below. Since we are all connected through the torsion field of the firmament, as above so below, we are all interconnected with each other electromagnetically, and if can we access the higher sense of hypercommunication ability, we can become telepathic, just like the aboriginal shaman on the photo, the meaning of this text incorporates all of the scientific discoveries made only recently about. If you train rats to learn a new trick in Peru, then rats all over the world should be able to learn to do the same trick, just like the hundredth monkey effect. A phenomenon in which a learned behavior spreads instantaneously from one group of monkeys to all related monkeys once a critical number is reached. This new pattern of learning will be, as it were, in the rat call fields, to which other rats can tune in, just because they are rats and just because they are in similar circumstances, by morphic resonance. Yugoslav scientists Velko Velkovic and Irena Kosik, photons, EMF light, control everything in the cell. Photons switch on the body's processes like an orchestra conductor bringing each individual instrument into the collective sound. At different frequencies, they perform different functions. Dr. Velko Velkovic found that molecules in the cells responded to certain frequencies, and that a range of vibrations from the photons caused a variety of frequencies in other molecules of the body. Dr. Velko Velkovic of Nuclear Sciences Vinca in Belgrade, dared to ask the question that has forever puzzled cellular biologists. What is it that enabled the tens of thousands of different kinds of molecules in the organism to recognize their specific targets? What he found out was that each molecule sends out a unique electromagnetic field that can sense the field of the complementary molecule. It's as if there is a dance in the cellular medium and the molecules move to the rhythm. The music is supplied by the biophotons. Velkovic and Kosik found out that molecular interactions are electrical in nature, and they take place over distances that are large compared with the size of molecules. German scientist Fritz Alfred Popp Following the footsteps of the Yugoslav scientists, Pop found out that there are about 100,000 chemical reactions happening in every cell each second. The chemical reaction can only happen if the molecule which is reacting is excited by a photon. Once the photon has excited a reaction it returns to the field and is available for more reactions. We are literally swimming in an ocean of light. So. This telepathic Australian Aboriginal shaman knew the secrets of telepathy. The Tartarian population not only had known of telepathy, but they possessed this higher sensory capability and communicate telepathically. When Tartaria was destroyed in 1802 AD, this, and many other human higher senses were gradually lost. 